in the gym if he wanted to act like that. Well, it's worked out quite well. I don't think he'll have to take the bus too many more times, will he? No, well, not if he's going to be scoring knockdowns like this. I mean, that, that was the punch that set it up, a lovely uppercut, and you can see the effect of the punches in Mitchell's legs. This fellow is just too big, too strong, and too young for him. He's just struggling four. badly here. Yeah, he is. Mitchell's just walking onto punches. Doesn't really know what to do. Desperately trying to hold on. He's badly shaken here. The cock coming forward there. Badly shaken. I think the end is in sight. He just can't really do a thing with Williams. Easy, come on, let's go. I don't think Williams' girlfriend yeah, hugs him yeah, this yeah. much, does she? <laughs> That's a thought. <laughs> but it's just a case now, it's a survival exercise for Shandy Oh, oh lovely punch. right hand, wasn't it? Down goes Mitchell again. He's getting a pasting here, and I'm afraid to say he's looking a bit of an old man in there. The job has always been too big, and it's just getting bigger here. He has nothing left. I mean, full credit for coming off the floor there, but there's no method in what he's doing. He's just trying to get close, just stumble to the floor there. But uh, they just look like two men in different weight divisions. Looking to hold again. And that's just about all he can do now. It's getting almost a little pathetic. That is not counted as a knockdown. Very, very confident, full of self-belief, Paul Williams, and seemingly on his way here to claiming a famous name, Scalp, but you have to say it's the scalp of a faded Shambe Mitchell. Well, if Mitchell survives this round, which it doesn't look likely, I think his corner should get him out of there. That should be scored that another knockdown, down, yeah, but should have been. He, he, he dragged to Williams floor. down with him, yet he's counting. Quite right too. Third count of the fight for Mitchell, breathing heavily, shakes his head ruefully, as if to say, well, what can I do? The answer is, not much. Well, it's not always easy to look good against Sean B. Mitchell, but uh, young Paul Williams is doing that now. He really is looking the part. Piling in the punches. Mitchell will have to throw it back, otherwise the referee is going to stop that. I tell you what, a lot of the world's top welterweights are not going to be in a hurry looking for this guy. Six feet, one inch southpaw, you've got to be kidding. Oh, he's got him again! Fourth knockdown. Mitchell here is being taken to the cleaners, I'm afraid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's counted out. It is over. He didn't make it. Williams scores his biggest win, 31-0 now, he looks like he's going places in this division and Shambe Mitchell, I'm afraid, is looking at the end of the cul-de-sac. Yeah, well I think uh, Williams is looking like one of those guys that the champions would be better defending against some sooner rather than later because he's an improving fighter, he's highly rated, I think they found out here tonight that he's ready to challenge for a world championship, so champions out there, if you want them, get them quickly before he gets any better. Well, he becomes Antonio Margarito's mandatory, doesn't he? He's the WBO number one, so somewhere down the line, those two have sparred, of course, in the past, so maybe that fight will happen. He's quite exciting, isn't he? Paul Williams from Augusta, Georgia. Yeah, but at times he looks as though he'd be easy to counter because he, his punches are a little bit wide, but he has the power has the quickness and uh, as we said uh, Mitchell a little bit faded but that's still an excellent performance from start to finish yeah no arguing with that too young too strong too good and too powerful on the night yeah this is where uh, Mitchell just kind of dragged them down but it was a genuine knockdown and every punch that landed probably from the second round onwards you could see the effect on Mitchell, I think Mitchell learned pretty early tonight that he was going to come off in second place. Stuck with the task well. Good, good, tough pro that he's always been. But the job was always far too big. Great win that for Paul Williams. Still unbeaten.
I'm at the top of the list, man. Everybody came out here to see what I could do, man. It wasn't no fluke with Walter Matisse, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing changed. You know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna come out here. I'm still gonna get on a good show.